Fuzzy Wee Man, I am back. Um, I got a little painting of some Repenta, so I was like, you know what? I want to do some more um, sisters. So we got some sisters. We have new models getting painted on the way, so that way I can get some more new things on here. You know, some exciting things. I got a lot primed, so really it's that I just need to bunker down and start painting. Uh, unfortunately, um, that did cause some flare up on my ergonomic pain, so I actually have to break from painting for a little while, but I um, will continue because I want to get like the Commando Orcs done. Ooh. Anyway, moving right along. We're doing Awaken the Data Spirits. So we got our objectives placed down. Yeah. Got the match play mission se sequence. I already did determine mission, read mission, determine kill zone. Set up objective markers, did that. Set up the kill zone. Yep, and now need to select drop zone. Players roll off and decides who will be the attacker and who will be the defender. Right, the attacker gets to set up, um, yeah, set up all their things second. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. All right, um, Scions won the roll off. Do they want to be the attacker or the defender? If both players select the same scouting, the attacker can have the initiative. In that case, Scions do kind of want the initiative, so they will um, choose themselves to be the attacker. <clears throat> so, sisters get to select their drop zone, and they will be... Well, first we select their drop zone. So, do sisters want here or here? They do have some sneaky thing. You know, they do have a lot of melee that they want to be kind of sneaky, which means, like, being able to go over here and hide for this objective and then rush that if they need to is... Hell, being able to put a sister here and then just, whoop, and, you know, into a assault there <clears throat> is good. Because if they choose this corner, they can get people around there, they can go around here. So, the sisters will choose over here. Let's leave Sirens over here. Select kill team. Done. Select talk ops. Done. Select equipment. Done. Set up barricades. <clears throat> Starting with the defender. Until they have set up two each. Must be within um, six of their drop zone. Not on a terrain feature. Unless it has insignificant. All right, let's start off with sisters. <clears throat> See, that's the thing. They could set up a barricade right there, even. Or even there. We'll set up one there. <clears throat> Gives more opportunities for things. All right. Here's sitting up there so that at least have sight lines down here with cover. Now, sisters. Yeah, they want to be able to have some kind of cover. <clears throat> well... This is just temporary. Once this is deactivated, these become important. 
So they're going to set it up so that way this, they now have another, like, first they went from one line of light cover to a second line of light cover. And this will allow them from start to suddenly have everyone here. That's actually a really smart move on their part because that really allows them to be like, we're here, we're near the main objectives. And so, Scions will throw up some cover as well <clears throat> for main objectives. So that starts being interesting. All right, and then next step is probably set up operatives. Yep, Defender sets up first, so that's the sisters. How do they want to do this? Ooh. Now well, let's see here. Let's kind of quickly look over some of their stats. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's a good one for later. Right. Um, sister with grenade on model throwing is the one with actual grenade. Oh, and it's a crack grenade. So got to remember that. Oh, their sister superior does have a Rosaria, so that's good. Okay, so I can't actually add to their APL. So, think of, let's see here. It's kind of, if she goes here, one, two, three, and if she gets whipped, she'll have one extra. So she could be on the objective and if she gets whipped, she moves, claims the objective, and then even can dash. Or hell, if someone was over here, then she could just she could have just charged. <laughs> so, um, but she's not gonna do any charge moves. She's gonna be concealed since she can go all the way, grab the objective, and run away. How close does the does the whip have to be? Within square. So she's over here. Yeah, she's over there. She actually gives it. <clears throat> but She really wants to be in cover, too. Well... Screw it. She'll be in cover. Let's see here. You know what? She'll be over here. She's gonna have an... Is she gonna have an engage order? There's no reason to at the moment. She'll, you know, so she'll move a little bit over here with the conceal. There's just no sight lines to her yet. She can get up to there pretty early. <clears throat> she'll have a conceal. Now let's at least get some gunners here. See, that's the cheap. These ones can get up there pretty quickly. Um, engage or conceal? You know what? Sisters are going to be pretty stealthy until they get into a good... good spot. <clears throat> because if they stay concealed, there's not much the... For the first turn, that's gonna you have to worry too much about. Do I want this sister going over here? I 
And you know what? You can conceal it behind your allies. Pretty positive. Yeah, yeah, because you can get cover bonus from if it goes through your allies. So, you know what? Just hide behind your allies. Do-do-do-do-do. And she's also on top of that person's concealed, but that's okay. A whole bunch of conceal. Actually gonna have to pull out more conceal tokens. <laughs> She's gonna be over here with the conceal. With our friends, conceal. And granted, this is heavy terrain, so that's gonna be a lot of obscuring anyway. <laughs> Now, Scions, what are you going to do? All right, and I'm going to at least put this guy over here with an engage order. Since if he happens to, if anyone happens to unfortunately get placed in a way that he can shoot, he's going to shoot them. All right, Plasma's forward with an engage. Melt up with an engage. You know what? They're they're ready for engaging. And you know what? It's pester with an engage. Might be able to charge someone. Do they want to try to get up here? It's a hard terrain to go for. You know what? Engage. Med kit is going to be over here and will be concealed because there's really no need for you to be engaged. <clears throat> objectives, objectives, objectives. Gotta think about the objective game too. Well, now that they know that sisters are mostly in the seal, I'm going to get. This guy as close to the front as possible. Screw it, he will have engage. He's just gonna be the one to rush that, basically. <clears throat> he's gonna throw someone over here with the engage order to help support removing that and potentially that. <clears throat> This guy will support over here with an engage order. And comms. Can add one to someone's action point. So, it'll be here. You know what? Screw it. We'll be concealed. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's start moving. Indicators of deployment zones, since I do not need those. And now, scouting phase, if I recall. Yeah, scouting. Ooh, do sisters want to consider infiltrate? Not really. They can get maybe some bulk gun shots, but they think a free dash could definitely be in their favor. And while Scions definitely want to do a free dash, <clears throat> they don't need another barricade. They don't need to change <clears throat> their things. And because both will be selecting it, that means 
Scions will have the initiative. So let's go. Free dashes. Oh, wait. Starting... <laughs> How do we... Who resolves their dash first? Starting with the defender. So sisters would, would um, do their free dash first. They would do their dash over here. Okay. All right, scions get to select the first model. Oh man, my brain's already going clunk clunk on things. It's been a little while since I've played. And yeah, now I need to read double double check wording on sight lines again. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. So if you're really close to a heavy terrain, the obscured is you have to be circled away. Yep, okay. Oh but if she's in cover then Yeah, she's going to be within, in cover even if he goes over here and tries to shoot her. <clears throat> so he doesn't really want to activate just yet. So we'll activate this guy. Oh, 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 oh. For that. Wow, I am really, really out of it because the first thing you do is not even just jump into it, it's literally strategy phase. Jeez, we got the initiative phase done, strategy phase. We gotta figure out what people wanna spend things on. So, huh. time to double check some things since I know we'll do the science first since I just got over it. They're gonna do strategic ploys of orders. Um, so the scions will spend the one on, um, <clears throat> The one that is special forces, pick up the, oh yeah, select the mission objective. So they're gonna select the mission one for removing uplinks that they can do as a free action. So Scions can do that as a free action. Do they wanna do another one? They'll actually spend another command point for move, move, move. So that way they can move faster. And then the sisters, that's really not useful. One is for when they're doing combat or attacking, it's like, well, they uh, don't think that's gonna happen. And then that can make it where they're, if they get any, um, if you retain any critical saves, you can reroll one of your failed saves. Not the best, and their tactical ploys can be a little bit better. Okay. Now we go to these things and verifying that I have the cards that I think I do. Yeah, okay, so I do have cards where the cards are, so I'm going to swap some dice around because it makes no sense for me to really have it where it's like, oh, all my um, Scion stuff here is over here for me and all the sister stuff is over here when the signs are over here and sisters over there model wise so let's get all their cards in the right spot too makes it easier to remember all right that's reveal when you strike oh i have to i had to secretly select one of those let's see here what's the more unique one that's the more unique one got it I think that guy would have been the right option for which model because he would have his deployment would have made sense with me actually selecting that model who has the banner because I got a plant banner. Feel this at any turning point. 
This seems like a good turning point to reveal it, to triangulate. You can reveal this tack op and the target reveal step of any turning point. So now I can triangulate board edges to get victory points. So I might as well do that now because I'm on this edge so it makes it easy to at least get this edge. Uh, I need to double check. Is that our board edge? Since the mission should tell us which one's our board edge. Oh, this is our kill zone edge. This is not. Good to know. I mean, hey, that's why you check the rules. It tells you which one's your kill, kill zone edge. So they have to try and go like this edge, that edge, and that edge. A little different. <clears throat> All right, now sisters, since they got some stuffs too. They have those ones. Okay. They don't really have a reason to reveal any tack ops at this time. So now we can move on to Tempestus doing, uh, the Scions doing their things. All right. We'll activate this guy. One, two, three. And then as his, which is now a free action because of his orders. Uh, what's it called? Disconnect firewall. Uh, he's on the firewall objective marker. If you notice, the black ones are um, firewalls, and then the orange ones are the uplinks. So it's removed from forever kind of thing. So it's gone. Whoop. And now he can do another action. He will... Dash forward. Oh, technically he had one extra inch, whatever, of movement, but he, he didn't spend it. So he's over there. He's been activated. Sisters. Thing is, as soon as I move her, she's no longer <laughs> in cover. <coughs> <coughs> so, one, two, okay. yeah, she'll be about there. It within enough of the objective and spends an action point to remove it. And that will definitely be her movement. You only have two APL. All right, so now both of these objectives are now worth at least one point. <clears throat> All right. Scion's cons, I know, can add to someone. Oh, yeah, signal. Add one to its operative to an APL. Hmm. Cons won't go just yet. Melta. Two. Three. He has now a range to kind of hold that objective. Um, and he will end his turn. Yeah. You just have to be... You know, it just says within triangle of the objective marker, not like within the center of the marker. So we're going to start with <clears throat> this Repenta. One. Two. <clears throat> and then she will spend the action to remove that. And concealed. <clears throat> And so now the Scions will take their turn to finally go one, 
And that's, you can traverse that too. And a little bit there just to make sure none of their base crosses any part of that. So now, as a second action, he can open fire. So, hot shot last gun, four shots. Threes to hit. Well, it's a good thing that's not an overcharged plasma pistol. Look at that. That's miserable. Well, uh, he's fired. <clears throat> he's got the problem of she can now run up this and just start slicing. Ooh, okay, so signs have moved. <clears throat> you know what? One, two, yeah, three, free action, no, not free action, second action, dash. It's not free, it's just the second action. Because, thankfully, she doesn't have to be, um, <clears throat> like, she doesn't have to do anything on the objective. She just has to be there at the end of the turning phase. So now it's, can you get that plasma in there without any lines crossing here or here? So if you have any line crossing here... That's obscured, because these are heavy terrains. So, if they're gonna try to get plasma in there. One, two, now we gotta look over here. Yep, and this is crossing. Three. Yeah, this crosses. He can, oh, oh, plus one extra inch because move, move, move. Oh, boys. Ah, let's double check that obscure now. I think that one extra inch just made it possible. Correct. Yes, she's more than circle away from that still because of that point. However, he's also within triangle of that point now. So now it's no longer obscuring because he just managed to squeak through. Just enough. <clears throat> So that was all just movement. Now he can open fire. Do, 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 do. How does he want to do it? Does he want to supercharge? Nah, he's going to just do a regular firing. He saw what the last person fired. He's a little concerned. So four shots, threes to hit. Okay. One crit, two regular, AP1, so it's just a regular sister. There's a save, usually if the save defense, a defense of three, but now it's two because AP1. But two, three up saves. So can make one. So let's, well, let's see here. Sisters have some abilities here, so they're going to spend a command point to re-roll the two, because you know what? Ooh, yeah. Crit and regular can be blocked. And now the regular is still, you know, five damage. However, 
She's thinking of using another thing. Let's look here. <laughs> She'll also spend one command point for divine intervention. Use this tactical ploy in the resolve successful hit steps of a combat or shooting attack. One attack dice would inflict damage, so this dice, on a friendly Adeptus Herodis operative, ignore the damage inflicted from that attack dice. Well, it's only this dice that he she ignores, but um, her armor prevailed the other two, and boom, no damage taken. God Emperor protects her, so his plasma did nothing, which actually puts Sisters in a really good position. He tried to eliminate her, but she's still on that objective. And now, they're probably going to have that objective. So... <clears throat> I'm going to select this that sister. The sister superior now. She's going to do one action point to whip This one into a fury. So add one to this to her APL, and she'll go an extra circle. So that's good to know. But now she has one action left. So she'll just go one, two, and still be hit, hitting me on that. Got some hiding still. Tempestus. Realizing even if she this moved and she was like then open, it's kind of like he doesn't have a good shot. Period. There's a lot of obscuring happening, which means all right. So he's going to move square to get about here. No, not square. Circle to get there. And then climbing. Since it's a two, it's a little bit more than... I think it's still going to... You know, there's just some things that you got to re remember. Yep, so it's... So he's moves one, and then he can go up there. But thing is, he still has one extra um, triangle because of um, move, move, move order. So he can go get a tri. He can use triangle to get on top. So there'll be another two there. So he's there. Unfortunately, he's got like this is um this now as blocking so he's gonna dash his way over here that'll be his turn but now he's got the opportunity to shoot some things next turn all right so she's been with you know what we'll not move the whipped into a friend frenzy one just yet we're actually gonna go one two three concealed since she has now we have two melta guns doing threat on that one. <laughs> He's going for it. Actually, before he does, Comms is actually going to go. Comms is going to move here and then to do its um, action, last action point. To signal to this uh, model, so this model now has three uh, um, action points when it activates. Because when you activate, you generate. All right, one, two. She's in there, concealed, ready to shoot some things later.
And I'm gonna activate this guy. One, two, three, free action. Remove that one. All, all uplinks have been removed. And then as a second action, gonna dash to here. He's got sight lines over here now. Really, he's just got sight lines to this because heavy terrain. Now, sisters. <laughs> oh, choice. One, two, and she's just gonna be kind of there. We got some bottlenecks and people not really wanting to jump out in the middle yet. Yeah, this guy can't even charge that sister. So, uh, you know what? One, two, three. Since it was move, 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 he'll go the little extra. And then just kind of camp out there. You know, kind of bottleneck some of these melee at the moment. You know what? This one's the whipped one, so one, two, three, four. Holy crap, but they had, um,. <laughs> If she was engaged, she, if she had the engage order, she'd be able to at least go there for a charge move, which wouldn't be enough. Um, and then there's another move. She'll just dash over here to still be hidden. <laughs> but now they've got quite a few models on that objective. And now to Pestisco, so he's been added an extra... APL, so one, two, we'll do that one extra one there, and then three, uh, so then he'll dash, let's see here. Need to double check action stuffs real quickly. Whoop. Oh, I forgot the whole triangulate. All right, since so this guy didn't use any, of, when he started over there, he would have done one action point as triangulate. No, wait, wait, they can't triangulate this edge. Oh, oopsies. <laughs> right, they can't triangulate this edge. So, um, yeah, no, no one is triangulated. They, they, they haven't triangulated. They have not done that. Um, how far away is he from there? He's too far away, so he can't plant banner yet. He could try to dash and do it, but he realizes that's a terrible idea. But he knows he's there, and he's on the objective, so... Yeah, I thought maybe drop, I would need to do some things, but no. Um, and now sisters will keep going. You know what? One, two, three, dash. Because next time she's in a threat range for some melee on those people. And now Medic. <clears throat> Medic knows he's gonna need to go to someone later, so he's just gonna one two, and still camp out there. Well, as I say, medic, but it's really just a normal scion with a med kit, medi kit. But that's how he's done. All right, now this bent up. One, two, three. 
dash. Yes. Just barely. And it should be more on the edge there. Boom. Because if no one has the ability to shoot right now. There we go. So no victory point. And you know what? Let's, I got my camera, a second camera going this time around. So we'll kind of look around at the field a little bit at different angles. Yeah, I'm just going to try this from now on. Just kind of move the camera. Back to it. Um, round two, really. You know, I realize I... Oh, well, at the end of round, we start end of turning point. So, at the end of turning point, he... At the end of each turning point for each up blink objective mark of friendly operative's control, you can score. Oh, each time a friendly operative performs the disconnect firewall, you score an action. You score a victory point. Oh, uh, forgot that. So, sisters took out two. So, they have two victory points. Scions took out two. Two victory points. That was actually important. So, it was important to try to take a disconnect. It's just, you know... Everyone did one. Um, so for each uplink objective marker that you control, so sisters clearly control this one, science control that one. If both the uplinks objective mark, um, firewall objective markers have been removed, which is the case for both of them, you score two victory points. So up to four, up to four. Game is currently tied. All right. Who's got the initiative this time? Still the Scions. All right, everyone goes up one command point. So now we do um, ploys. Uh, well, there's no objective thing, so there's really no need for special forces anymore. All right, orders will be take aim. Reroll once. At this point, they think that there's going to be a lot of shooting. So, that's the orders. For sisters, they're going to do Divine Shield. It's not... Well, let's see here. Gab is the only other one is Divine Intervention. So, they'll spend a command point for Divine Shield. It's not that great. I'm going to double check. I think it's... You can't re do the same ploy... Each tactic play no more than once per turning point. Got it. All right. So, oh, right. I should re-mark as everyone is active again, since that's where we're at. Oh boys, how... Oh right, before that, now we check these things. Alright, they still have the triangulate for scions, but sisters probably have something. They'll reveal this ploy, uh, this um, tack op. If at the end of any turning point, the total APL of friendly operatives within square, and this is the actual center, so... So far, they do not have that, but they can get that. They'll skip, they can score a victory point that way. And they don't reveal any others just yet. <clears throat> okay, so who does what? <clears throat> um, damn. Who's an important first model to shoot? Plasma thinks this is his best bet to fire at someone. 
But he also realizes as soon as he fires... It's like, yeah, he could try to kill this one or this one. But there's still two coming at him. He's not going to be able to hold, hold out. Like, he might not be able to get the objective. Is there anyone... Is there any tech ops that they... And do these guys want to shoot her and try to flank up here? It might not be a bad idea. She's the only danger to them. So they'll start with this guy. He'll open fire on her. Four shots. Reroll ones. This will take aim. So there he goes. Three hits, one crit. And it's just a... Um, regular hot shot last gun, so nothing special. And then, um, let's see here. Just a Repenta. Oh, look at that. They have, um, defense of three with, um, six up saves. Um, they can't reroll any because they didn't have any crit save, so. Well, she's just going to take it because they're not going to spend a command point to re-roll that. So, but each, on each wound that you would lose, so let's, let's start with this one thing at a time. So, this one applied. It's three damage, so no five, so she takes three damage and ends up at four wounds. And just to go faster, they're not applying the crit, which is four damage, since they're like, you know what, if she gets no fives, she dies. Okay, two fives, so she only takes two. <laughs> and now another three damage. Uh, only takes two, and well, that's all that she had left. So she died. You know, as expected, once they got that around the corner shot. Um, now he's going to move. <clears throat> One, two. He's going to go three. He's going to be about here. And he wants to climb up there for later. Sisters. <clears throat> Actually... <laughs> Let's see, if she went like this, one, two, three, she probably wouldn't be able to whip her into a fr frenzy. So, but they'll activate her, switch her to... Oh, I'm actually going to have to grab some engage order tokens. Switching to an engage order. One... Two, three, but you can go up to f an extra circle, so she's going to there. So she's got <clears throat> two people. And she's going to fight this guy. Who's the leader? So, our sister Pento, she will now first roll four attacks. Fours to hit. Ooh, that's good. It's brutal, so let's see here. The Let's see what this Pester has. He has a power sword, so four attacks. Threes to hit. Alright, so he's got two hits. Um, it was lethal five, but still he only got one crit. Um, she's immediately going to do apply this critical. Because it does six damage to him. 
And then does Reap 2, which means she puts two mortal wounds on both these guys. So he ends up taking a total of eight wounds lost. So he's got one wound left. That guy is just a regular Scion with eight wounds. So he's now down to six wounds. So she's applied that. And this guy's actually gonna be smart and use this to parry the next attack. So he parries that one. He's now he's got two normals that he can both apply, which are two which would be a total of eight wounds. Well she's got six dice for now, so she will roll her you know, every time a wound is lost kind of thing, so. E -do 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 -do. So one survived so far, and then I have two extra dice. Oh, okay. So, she saved three out of eight, so she takes only five, which leaves her with two left, but she's still alive. The other guy is still alive too, but he's a little concerned. Since that was a very clear one after him kind of thing. All right. Close enough for there. Um, Scion's time. Again, most of these are still within with um, cover order. Oh, right. Him. He's actually going to shoot at the Melta. So he's just going to unload onto the Melta. Actually, oh, oh, yeah. That's a hot shot volley gun. Fusillade. Which means he can split attacks, right? Yeah. So he can split his attacks with the Fusillade. It's going to be like a point here and she's she's technically beyond that because it's the any point that crosses so if that point crosses here she's beyond too so he can't attack that one he can attack those two oh, crazy obscured things fuselage five shots so he's gonna put three on her two on her so the three on um, the Melta. That's, oh right, reroll ones because take aim. So that gets that. So he's got a crit. Oh, crit becomes P1, so that's good. Now the sister's only got um, two defense dice. Which, of course, one's going to be a crit. Oh, which... <laughs> that was the divine shield, wasn't it? If you retain any critical saves done, you can reroll one of your failed saves. So now she can reroll this save. And it becomes a save. So, crit blocked, regular blocked. Cool, so she only takes, um, let's see here, how many from the Hotshot Polygon? <laughs> it's three damage, a regular sister, not sister, Penta, a regular battle sister is still eight wounds, so if she only takes three, she becomes five. I'm just going to have to go like that. So she's not wounded. And then the two on that model. Two regulars. Sister Superior has, oh yeah, defense of three. One pass. Two fail. Does she really want to take that? I mean, otherwise she's going to have to. 
And they only have one command point. Do they really want to spend it for her? Let's see here. That would be six damage if she doesn't. Ooh. So instead they'll spend the command point. How they'll do it is once this is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. She blocks one. And then would only take three, so she doesn't care. She still has six wounds, so she doesn't care. She takes it. Um, and he's going to stay there since he's got a good vantage point. <clears throat> um, she's going to... Melt is going to switch to an engage because clearly that doesn't seem to matter that she tried to stay concealed because someone had... Good, you know, had a vantage point on her. Come on. Okay, so she's not wounded yet. <clears throat> she's gonna fire the melt gun. <clears throat> as soon as I find the sister with the melt gun, there we go. Okay. Yeah, since it's ranges, this, even if she crosses any point on that, she's within one on it, so she could fire at this guy. <clears throat> three shots. No, no, four shots, threes to hit. Lulz, wrong numbers. <laughs> Each crit for mortal wounds. <laughs> you apply those immediately, don't you? I don't know. I think he still can try to. Def no, no, he tries to defend it. He can still try to defend it, but it's AP two, so he gets one, one save. Roll the ones. That doesn't matter. They're not going to try to re-roll that because four mortal wounds, ouch, and then he takes a three damage, so that's uh, seven damage there, and then uh, another seven, and then uh, another seven. <laughs> Basically, he is very, very gone. <clears throat> and she'll stay there. You know what? Just in case some models die quickly enough, she can overwatch. So she's going to stay there. <clears throat> Leaving the time past the science with the big question of who goes next. Could have the melt to come in there and try to melt her back. You know what? He, he's he's going to move forward. One. Two. He's going to be near the objective. And he's got his own melt -a gun These two are in cover and in conceal order, so he can't shoot them. But he can shoot her because she has an engage order. So he will fire his melt -a gun <clears throat> Which should be the, the exact same stats. Yep, four shots, threes to hit. <clears throat> You, he got two crits in a regular. <clears throat> so here's the thing. She's only going to get one save. But it would be just a regular save, not crit. So she's going to... She's going to try. Failed it. And that was probably a bad idea. <clears throat> because if she at least done a regular save, no, she, no matter what, she was dying. <clears throat> so, boom, he got her. Now he can potentially overwatch while sitting on an objective. So, he's, he's sitting pretty. Or so he thought. Because <clears throat> sister's time. One, <laughs> two, charge. Oh yeah, she's switching to an, obviously a engage order and charged him. And now she gets her attacks. <clears throat> mm. 
It should be fun. Four attacks. Four is to hit. All right, that's three hits. Oh, yeah, yeah, he gets to defend. Uh, he has a Scion Blade, so he'll defend with that. Right? I need to actually double-check that. Meltagun does not have the Scion Blade. He just has the butt. Threes to attack. Okay. He got one crit, one regular. Um, so... She's obviously going to apply the first, um... Yeah. First attack applied. It is damage five. So he's at three wounds now. He's just going to apply the crit because he needs to do some damage, he believes. Because that at least... Oh, he does three, but she still gets her three, um... Does she actually lose that damage? Yes. Yes, she does. Actually, before rolling that, she's going to do the spend the funny thing of spend the Divine Intervention, which she takes no damage, and then spends her next attack to kill him. Huzzah. That was the smarter move. She now still controls the objective <clears throat> and is here. So this gets a big question to Scions, what they do. They don't think they could take this objective. Like, Plasma could potentially shoot her. Plasma's going to shoot her because he's kind of in the position now where he has to kill her. Because he will die if he doesn't. Does he overcharge? No, there's zero reason for him to overcharge. Actually, he gets reroll once because of take aim. So screw it. He's going to overcharge. Four attacks. Threes to hit. Reroll ones. Okay, he gets two hits, two regulars, AP three. So, you know, she gets, or AP two, so she gets one save. Failed it. No command points to reroll that. So he applies these two, which is 10 damage, so. Oh, uh, 10 damage, but she's gotta see, does she actually take 10 damage? Uh, so far, is blocked three. So, so far she'll take three. Okay, so let's just do the math now. She's taken three, she has four left. She has four dice to roll. Oh my God, if she gets a single five on any of these four dice, She's still alive. And she only takes two, so... <laughs> the Emperor protects, man. So he's fired. And then he's gonna bug her out. One. Two. Three. He buggered out. He's just like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I fired and she's still standing. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Sister's time. She's actually going to go one, two. She's staying concealed. Three with her conceal order. And just potentially have things. And then for her second action, she's actually going to whip this model into a frenzy <laughs> to give her extra distance to go. Alright, which means she is now moved. Scions. No oh, boys, they now know she could just come whipping about anywhere. <clears throat> so, you know what? This guy is within there, so two, so he can kind of go be there. And as for his second action, he's just going to fire into her because she's actually 
He's actually worried about her killing someone. <laughs> so, hot shot last down, four shots, threes to hit, reroll once because of take. Oh, boys. <laughs> One hit. One measly hit. Granted, it could be enough to kill her. She gets her six up save. Failed it, so it does three damage. She has. Oh! She saved one, but she still takes two, which is enough to kill her. He's hoping to get that kill, but he didn't. <clears throat> All right, she could activate and do some things. You know what, she's going to. She's gonna activate, now switch to engage order. First one is one that we have I haven't used yet, which is Icon of Purity. Till the end of the turning point, anyone who's within square of her, um, do, 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 do. You can retain one of your attack results of five up. That is a successful hit as a critical hit. So basically, she can make this one crit on fives, which is what she's doing. Okay, it does say that from the operative is inspired, so she can't inspire herself. But she will um, now fire into this guy because you know what? She's might as well. Bolt gun, four shots. I mean, none of this terrain matters, and you can't get at the he can't get any benefits from the cover he's on. So four attacks, threes to hit. Look at that. The emperor did not smile on her today. <clears throat> he gets his three defense dice, which is going to be four up. Wow, Sion's actually getting attacked by something. Um, yeah, he blocks that s smoothly. Doesn't care. Sion's time. Alright, now that they're not worried about that one, um, comms is moving up. One, two, yeah, up there. Oh, yeah, comms is switching to an engage order. His comms now has a clean shot at her, so he's taking it. A hot shot, last gun, four shots, threes to hit. Reroll ones because of take aim. Jeez, that order really uh, was needed today. So, four hits. <clears throat> Defense of three, six up save, right? Hold on. Yep, six up save. This is not going to go well for her, likely. Ooh. All right, how much damage is going to be applied? These are all three. So, well, let's just do these two at a time. Six applied. Let's grab her six dice and see if, any, if she rolls any fives. No. Um, so she's got one wound left, and I just roll this, so she needs six five-ups here. Only makes three. Dead. So. Oh yeah, the guy who died up there technically dropped his banner since he was a banner carrier. Forgot about that. He was melted and he had a banner. Alright, um, we'll do red for the silence. So the banner's dropped. So, their banner's over there. Gotta remember that. Because he died, so someone can pick it up. It's currently not... Which also, as soon as he dropped it, because that's... The attack op has to be revealed. And right now, it's not scoring any victory points, so that is very important for them to get it back. So he's, he's done his two actions. And the sisters kind of know this now. Um... She's going to move a little... So we're now going to activate her for the sisters. She's going to move a little forward. Switch to, obviously, an engage order. Yeah, just move forward to be fully within that cover. And she's actually going to shoot at this scion. 
because he's got a heavy weapon. And she's more concerned about him. So she's going to fire her bolt gun. Hey, this time, because of the banner of purity, she can actually, you know, get some good crits. Well, or she just, you know, gets um, a crit and several regular. Yeah, right? Four attacks. Yep, three's dead. There we go. So crit, regular, regular. So three defense dice for the scion. Two crits. Um, he'll obviously block two things. A crit and a regular. So he takes two, which is... He's going to take six damage in total. Which puts him at two wounds, so, you know. That was that was a good one. So she is fired. Now Scions have to make a choice. Do they... Do you, you know what? And I'll um, select someone over here to fight. They'll have this guy fight since she's so wounded. So he will attack. He's a regular Scion, so I think he has the Scion blade. So he does. So he's got three attacks. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Three attacks. Three's to hit. No, no, no. Um, three's to hit? Yeah, yeah. He's not half health. So two hits. She gets to fight back. She is wounded, so... It's going to be um, four attacks, fives to hit. She's got two hits. Unfortunately, though, he applies the Scion Blade. Um, well, he, he doesn't have a crit, so he applies that. She needs to make at least two five-up, like, feel-no-pain things. Makes one, still takes two damage, which is enough to kill her. So no more things are resolved. So she doesn't even get to do her reap. All right. Dead. And now he is still alive. So he's going to move over here to be close to that since he doesn't have enough action points to um, pick it up. But he's there. He's there. Sisters get to go now. They want to check something. <clears throat> something I've never used before. Do, 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 do. One, two. Oh, yeah, she's switching to gauge order. She's there. And she's throwing a crack grenade at him, so she doesn't have to worry about that for Skier because she's within one. So yeah, she's throwing a crack grenade. It's limited, so it's her one use of it, but hey, there's a reason for it. Four attacks, threes to hit. Whew, two crits. Regular. And um, he's... It's AP 1, so he's only got defense 2. One crit. He'll block one of the crits, but um, that's 5 damage and then 4. So he takes 9, and well, he was at 1 health, so he's very much gone. Which, for the Sisters of Battle, they get to now reveal Headhunter. You score one victory point. If it was the first or second turn, well, it is the second turn. You score a victory point. So they actually got two victory points from that one. So that was a very well-placed grenade to guarantee his death. And now Scions have one model left. Who's going to move forward? Forward, move forward. Still concealed, and then for his second action, he's going to use the mini kit. It's within one, they're not in engagement range. Regains 2d3 lost wounds. So, regains two wounds, which is what he lost. So, boop. 
He's been healed. Um, hmm. Sisters know they can... Yeah, how do they want to do this now? Like with her. Yeah. She's gonna go up here because she's gonna charge. She's gonna obviously switch to engage order to be able to do that charge. And then she's gonna fight. She's gonna fight this guy. Wow, she's towering over him. Yeah, seriously, it's not... <laughs> Just see, she towers over him. Alright. So now she does her attack with the butt of her gun. So, three attacks, four is to hit, because of course they're not great. Oh, great, she gets one hit. He uses a scion blade, because they were smart enough to do that. So, three attacks, three is to hit. Oh, look at that, he's going to do well. Yeah, he's probably going to do well. So, she applies her one. He takes two and becomes that. And then he's just... He gets to apply all of the rest of his. So, three, six, nine. And she's got nothing to save herself from that. So, she died because I didn't fully realize that was going to be a thing. And then there's the banner dropped. So, she has to reveal that her, they were also doing a banner. So, now it's looking really bad for the sisters. And no one goes now. That's the end of the turn. End of turn. Both sides still own objective markers, so they go up to six. Sisters go up to eight. And now, switch around. This is, this is where it gets rough, because that was only turn two. So sisters are going to really need things again. And boop, boop. Yeah, Plasma is buggered out, so he's a little, a little bit more safe. We have, they haven't even triangulated. Let's see here. Oh, they actually would have done something smarter with him. No, no, they wanted to do the nine damage. They wanted to kill her. All right. So, turn three. Okay, everyone goes up one command point. Two, two, two. Um, sisters are actually going to hold on to theirs. Um, Tempestus will give the order take aim again, because that's good and hold on. And they can't reveal their other attack ops, since, you know, they... It requires a particular action. Now we see who has the initiative. Sisters have it this time. So, what do the sisters want to do? It's a big question of how to hold the damn line. <laughs> Because they have a melee unit, like, standing on an objective, which is not going to help. I mean, I don't know how you do range that way, if it's like that, or... <laughs> That's a good question. So, you know what? Alright, they will activate her. She will switch to an engage order. She will move just close enough that technically he's within range. So that way she can use her neural whips. It's got five attacks. So five attacks on him. Threes to hit. Woo! Woo! Um, no AP. Uh, well... Yeah, okay, and then he does three, for defense, he still has three dice for, for success. Okay, so he's going to block one of the crits, 
since he, he doesn't like that. Okay, so it takes a crit. Let's see here. Now I need to read stun. Oh, if you retain any critical hits, which we did, subtract one for the target's APL. Okay. Okay, so this guy's APL has now been reduced. So he only has one action now. <clears throat> so he's been stunned. He also takes three, six, no, no, three, oh no, it is lethal five. These are all crits. All three of these are crits. Oh my lord. So yeah, three, three, three. So he takes nine damage. He's gone. He has been whipped. Balls. He was whipped. <laughs> whipped into death. All right. So he's just gone. Um, Scions. I'm actually going to choose this guy. Whose first action is to pick up the banner. So. we He's got the banner now. I'll just mark that. <clears throat> so he's got the banner. His second action. He's actually to start running for it. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Which actually means he was just going to switch to conceal and just start trying to run for it. She actually could see him though because it says if he's within circles, she could still shoot him. So he didn't get far enough away. Sisters are actually gonna activate her. She's gonna go there. So circle, two circle, triangle, triangle. And now with the going, dropping down, it would just, since I could do a dash, then she would only move triangle and be down. But she's still within that. So that was her move, and she's going to remain within the gauge order because she has no cover. So she did that. <clears throat> that was her move because she counts as one higher APL for capping objectives. So, she actually, is, they, that means sisters currently own this objective. So now, to, to, the science actually have to think this one through. We'll actually just have him shoot. He's just gonna fire into her. Hot shot volley gun. I mean, it might do its job. Five attacks, so, you know, five attacks. He's gonna be forced to hit because he's injured. Or he can get all those crits. Which um, put as a penetrating one, so she gets two, three up saves. Makes one. Not even gonna bother trying to reroll. The other one. Yep, there's nothing else for her, so she. Yep, okay, so. can't even block one because that's a crit so um and as soon as two of them are applied she's dead so even if she tries to spend any command points just to survive she, she can't she can only do it for one dice so she's been blasted away she did her best to get on the objective but this gun does his job and he's just gonna stay there he's like you know what i'm just gonna hold the line Though sisters are realizing they're about to switch to, they shoot. You know, they overwatch kind of thing. So she's going to shoot him. You know, fire. Actually. Why bother? Because this lady can overwatch with the neural whip. So she's going to shoot. Yeah. She's going to shoot straight into the med kit. <clears throat> the medi kit guy. Yeah, she's got a bolt gun. Four shots, threes to hit. Two crits, two regular. Gets his regular four up armor. Two regular, he can only block the two regular. So the two crits go through, which are four apiece, which is eight damage, which is enough to kill him. 
So she blasted him away to get him off an objective. Because the whip can whip him when she overwatches. So there's no need to worry there unless she dies from someone else. So this guy is gonna one, two, three, and his way back. He's gonna fire plasma into her. Oh, right. They did get the take aim, so he's gonna overcharge it. Four shots. Three to hit. Reroll ones. Reroll ones. All right. So he overcharged it and got a crit. However, now with her, and it would be AP2, but she's going to um, use her Rosarius, so that means she gets three four-up saves. Oh my god. Can she re-roll any of those? No? Okay. Oh, boys. Well, I mean, she could spend a command point on that, but she thinks it's more important. I mean, hell, if she did, so let's just numbers this. She can survive that. She cannot survive that. She basically can't. Do, there's nothing she can do. <laughs> because even if she removes that, it's like, oh, you got all these. And then one applied, she lives. And then if she tries to spend a command point to deny damage from any of these, the, second, the next one still goes through, so she still dies. But she doesn't spend a command point to try not to die because there's no way she was not going to. So gone. So no one holds an objective right now until this sister... Two, three. <laughs> so that sister lands on there. And opens fires on this guy, actually. She's going to shoot at him. Bolt gun. Four shots. Might as well stick with the bolt gun sisters because it's only two left. Four shots. Two hits. One crit. He can retain one save, so he's going to retain one save. And then two, try to go, and you got a crit and a regular, so he saved. He's still alive. And now, he's going to go and he's going to shoot into her. Since, you know, he's got to try. Hot shot last gun, four shots, threes to hit. Reroll ones because of take aim. Alright, two hits, she gets her... Three, three ups. Saved them, so she took nothing. He is done, and actually goes back to sisters doing Overwatch. She's actually going to shoot into him. Four shots. Because he's got a banner, and she knows he can, he can go for it. Whoo! Oh, right, I think you still subtract one on Overwatch, but still, three crits. Uh, he's not going to retain a save because he needs all of them to crit. He got one regular, but it's not enough. Um, that's enough to blast him away and drop their banner yet again. So she is overwatched. And the reason why she fired is because as soon as he moves, she can't overwatch. So he's going to go... Over that, so that's his, and then so he's gone up two two circles. That that's his full up movement. He can't dash down because he can only move up to this point if he tried to. He would dash and then not be able to go all the way down. So since he's up here, he's just gonna do the um. Destroy banner command and just, just destroy the banner. So plant banner failed by sisters. Their plant banner is actually within one. <coughs> so he's done his two actions and 
They actually got that so far, so they might be able to get that in the end. Um, end turn. Oh, I never checked central control. Because there was one turn that the sisters maybe had center control when there's a lot of models here. Ooh, I'll have to recheck footage. I mean, that would be one victory point. It would be turn two. I can't remember if turn one technically, too. Didn't check it. I, I, oops, center control was an important one. Anyway, for main objectives... No one holds this one. But sisters clearly hold that one, so they get two victory points. So that's two points so far. So sisters actually are doing well. They're at four points above, and we go to the final turn. So scions really have to eliminate and get both objectives. And if they keep the banner there, they still get an objective. So it's coming down to the last bit here. They really can... It's actually still a close game. This one's actually probably a very close game, which is nice. All right, everyone goes up two command points. No, one command point, not two. All right, initiative roll off. This could be big. Sisters have it. All right, um, no, there's no like shoot twice thing. So sisters, what do they do? First step is have her fire into him. She needs to kill him. First step, fire. Four, four shots, threes to hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess... Now that I think about it, they do have Emperor's Guidance that they would probably use. Yeah. They knew that one's probably their best bet. Divine Shield is useful, but they're... They want the um, Emperor's Guidance because the Divine Shield only really helps for crit saves and they're more worried about these things which don't give them really any saves anyway. So they will have done Emperor's Guidance and orders from Scions would have been take aim. So everyone goes back, yeah, take aim because they want to reroll once. So the reason why that also is important because they got a crit, they can reroll one of these dice and get two, an extra hit. Uh, he's out in the open, technically, so he gets no cover bonus, so he has to roll all three. One crit, two regular. Even if he really rolls one of these, he's still going to take one and die. So, he dies. He's done his duty. He killed enough. She's going to stay there and hold the line. <clears throat> he could go for the contesting of it. It's not a bad idea. Plasma going over here. Firing overcharged at her. Since you know what? You might as well overcharge. You might be able to get the kill. Especially if you take aim and reroll one. So threes to hit. Reroll ones. Or, you know, just get two regular. Still AP1 though. So she only gets one regular save. Um, they're not going to spend a command point on that because as soon as they apply one of these, they'll spend the command point divine intervention, which ignores all the damage that we apply from that. So then they applied that one, which is five damage, which leaves her at three wounds. So she's, she survives. <clears throat> and now it gets to go. She's actually going to fire all four shots onto him because he's the danger. So four shots. Uh, fours to hit because she's now injured. One hit, no crit, so can't re-roll. Uh, gets three, four up saves. I'm pretty sure he's going to survive it. Yeah, he got a crit, so survived it. Scions. Uh, mm, actually... One, two. So he's charged. And then he's not going to even choose to fight. 
Because they both have the same APL, so he's contesting that objective. So he knows Sisters won't have this. They have someone on there. Sisters now get to Overwatch, so she's going to shoot into him and hope that she can kill him. I mean, it's fives to hit because minus one for Overwatch, minus one from injury. She gets a hit. Again, he's got enough save dice. He makes one save. That's all he needed to do. She can no longer Overwatch. So he's just going to shoot into her. Oh, I realized his mistake. He needed her to be removed. It's the only way they can get a victory. Or a tie. No, no victory. So we will actually do his fight. He will use his fight because that that is 100%. He has to. Let's verify. He has a Scion Blade. He does. <clears throat> so he has to do the fight. Three attacks. Crit, hit, hit. And then she would attack back. Three attacks, force to hit, one hit. Um, ooh, ooh. Yeah, so it's real thinking here because he could try to parry her attack, but then if he does, he's not gonna do enough damage. So he'll apply the, cr the crit, which is four damage. Um, so she has four wounds left, but instead of applying a crit, now her damage is a strike. Oh, wait, wait. He's got the smarter choice. He's gonna apply the regular strike and finally do their damn implant because he forgot about it so much. So he does the implant and gets a victory point. She applies a parry and blocks that. So now all he can do is apply the crit, which does the damage, which again puts her at four, but she lives and stays there. So she's going to be there. Like she helped at least deny them capturing that. And then that Overwatch would have happened. So now he can go, he can't move and get that banner anywhere closer. So he's just gonna load onto her. So that's really all he can do. Four shots, threes to hit. Hey, he got four hits. She's got three defense dice. Got a crit, but the crit, they were doing the um, divine. Uh, um, oh, it would have been a re to reroll, but she doesn't need to. So she just denies three of these. But unfortunately, it still does three damage, which is enough to kill. And that ends. Game comes to a close. So now we, the end the round comes to an end. So now we count these victor. This is the only one. So they gain two for that. They gain one for the banner because the banner ended um, just within. Yeah, within, but not wholly within. Your opponent's drop zone. So it's like within this. Yeah, if your opponent's is fully within their drop zone, they get six. But he's, he's within. So you get, they get one there. They got the one from Implant. They didn't triangulate. And Sisters got the Headhunter properly. They maybe... See, here's the problem. I didn't properly count this the center control. If they got one at turn two, if they, if they had enough people at turn two with, within triangle from the center, they would have won. Otherwise it's a tie. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to probably go back in editing and see at all if they get this distance ever from the center. Oh, boys, <clears throat> because if they control the center in turn two, they would win. If they didn't, it's a tie. Holy hell, that ended 
probably ended in a tie. That was a cool game. <clears throat> I'm actually glad I got to try the Sisters of Pemchos. They were not too terrible. I mean, and they, they mostly just died. But they, they did some hefty damage now and then. They were at least a threat. Like, they caused the plasma to fall back and they helped control this for most of the game. And they did at least force movement, so that's good. Anyway, that was an interesting game. Have a fabulous day, everybody.